Right, okay guys, I've decided it's lightning time. So, what we're going to do is we're going to use this one first. Outdoor... Outdoor Guard Blue? It is so easy to sing Ultramarines. Um, but yeah, we're going to use this one. This is going to be our base. So, you want a slightly bigger brush for this one. So, and what we're going to do, we'll start off with the turret. Um, I have done a tutorial on this already, so I'll show you a quick run view of how you do it first off. So let's just say, go from there, start off, I'll go down, and down, and stop there. So we want a little bit going off this way. Let's do a little bit going down here. And do some little forks going off. So, um, right, what you also want to do, guys, is what I didn't do just then, is you want to try and get the tip of your brush kind of as pointy as you can. And let's go from, let's go up from here. Go down. This bit again, you can be quite messy. It seems like most of this tutorial I've been messy. So if it wasn't for masking tape, then yeah, this would look horrendous right about now. So go down there. And do a little bit off like that. Okay. Right now, what I'm going to do is go into fast forward mode. So this will all get done super quick. Um, and then I'll show you the next base coat. So, well, sorry, the next coat which you do on the lightning to show you the next. Done the first round of lightning, or first base color, if you will. Now you see, I haven't done a massive amount um, for good reason. Uh, you ever heard of the saying "less is more"? Well, it's all too true when it comes to lightning side of things. Now, having a look at the top, there's quite a bit of it on here, but this is kind of the centerpiece. So I kind of wanted to do a little bit more off this. I kind of wanted it looking a bit like a Tesla coil style thing. So, but don't go over the top with lightning. Um, doesn't do you any favors, basically. So what we're gonna do now is move on to our next color. And I've still got a part of this. There it is, come on, focus. Go on, you know you wanna. There we go, good old ice blue. So, now what we're gonna do is we're going to use a much smaller brush now, or brush tip. So, where are we? That's the one we were using. That's the one we're now gonna use. So I know that's not focused in, but maybe that's a bit better. So we're gonna go a lot smaller now. And what we're going to do is this bit we have to be a little bit more careful. And we take some of our ice blue. Before I put my paint, which I always do, we're going to be 
a lot more precise and just follow inside the line of the lightning that's already there. Now what you can also do as well is do tiny little forks off of it as you see there. So it's a little tiny forks because we're using a lot smaller brush got a lot more accuracy now and this you don't want to be doing sort of um, big long strokes tiny little sharp ones that'll make the lightning pop out a lot more make it a lot more realistic well as realistic as you can in Warhammer world sort of thing so now there's no way in help I'm going to do every single one because you guys will just turn off and go somewhere else and do something else because it'll be quite boring. This will take a little while. So we're going to use good old fast mode. So fast mode, go. Right, done that there. And let's just show you what it's looking like now. So there we are at the moment. That is our Night Lord's Fell Blade. Now we've got another layer to do on the lightning, um, but I'm going to go off, grab myself a cup of tea, and have a quick break. Then we'll come back. Uh, we'll do the next layer and then I'm going to try and experiment and uh, see if it works or not. Hopefully it does. If it does, it's going to make it look awesome, but uh, we'll try that in a bit. So catch you tomorrow. 